We're back with a national champion, and this time we got Sweden's Eddie Ramscourt. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. And um, this has been a, a huge thing for you, of course, to win the national championship. And was it like the, the biggest accomplishment of your career? Yeah, I think so. Um, the thing about Sweden is um, our local is pretty small, and we don't have that much big competitions. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing I've ever won is a local. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. we don't have that much regionals, and uh, I don't play that much regionals, so it's like locals, maybe. How many of uh, your players are setting out to the YCS to, to do well there? It's more now. Um, it was We had like a hu huge break now. Um, we had a couple of players before, and now we have like, I think we're 20 from Sweden now, oh, okay. 25 who went, and that's a lot for Sweden. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So basically, you're, you're growing. Is it is it that <laughs> the community is growing, or is it that people like to travel more than before? Um, I think the community is growing, definitely. Oh. Uh, we have we we have like almost as many players as before, mm -hmm. but more people start playing really competitively. Oh, okay. So that's fun. And um, w what is the communities like? You you have a couple of locals because Sweden yeah. is like uh, people live very widespread, right? In yeah, in exactly. Sweden. We have um, I think. Um, Stockholm, mm -hmm, the capital. Course, uh, yes. We have, the, I think, the biggest local. I'm never there um, because I live like four or five hours away. Okay. Uh, the th in the, the north. Yeah, exactly. No way. I live uh, in the south. Oh. And it's in the middle of Sweden. So I and um, my local is like 10, 15 people only. Okay. Okay. But when we have bigger tournaments, it's like 20, 25. So it's not that big. Okay. But the people playing competitively are really good. Okay. So um, so you're still getting um, some some good playtesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay. And um, you you also came with all your friends this weekend. Um, yeah. No, it's like one people, one person from a local. Okay. And then the rest is uh, from, from Stockholm classes. and uh, from Gothenburg. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, what is your expectation for the weekend? I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, I've playtested a lot, uh, but I think. Um, yeah, I don't know really. I'm really un unsure about this format. <laughs> Why is that? I don't really know because uh, I don't play the same deck I play to nationals because the the format in Sweden was so different. Uh -huh. um, I I feel like after our nationals, the whole format changed with all the burning abyss hype with all with everything. So I changed decks and well, um, what did you play at the nationals? Clifford. Clifford. Because okay. I expected like a lot of necros and I knew that the only really good players in Sweden were gonna play necros and uh, some shuttles and not that many Burning Abyss, so I wasn't afraid. And I didn't do well against a single Burning Abyss the okay. whole tournament. Okay. I was like... A good choice, uh, yeah. So uh, I wanted the best deck against the best deck. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this weekend, what are you going to go with? Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss. Yeah. Because you expect to see a lot more Necros this time. I expect to have... Um, I wanted the more consistent and, and better matchup against everything mm. instead of having a really good Necros matchup, a really good Saturnal matchup and like out to lose against right, <laughs> Burning Abyss. Right, right, right. I know the Burning Abyss hype, so I didn't want to out to lose with okay. Clifford. And what is, your, what is your approach? Do you um, set a high goal and then just try strive towards that goal or do you take it like one game at a time? I take it one game at a time. Uh, okay. It's always one game at a time. I feel like um, if I set my goal and I lose one mm. game, I just drop to the bottom <laughs> and oh, I get okay. sad. And in in uh, nationals, I went four zero first, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Yeah, this is really this goes, is it, yeah. yeah, this is nice." And then I lost one game, and then I have set the g after four zero. I knew I was gonna top, and yeah. then I lost one match, and I was like, "Yeah, this is over." <laughs> so over. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I won, so it <laughs> it felt good. One game at a time. Okay, yeah. so so that is the better strategy. Yeah, I think so. Okay, is there any other advice that you can give players that are new to the game if they want to become a national champion? Um. Set goals actually, mm. um, like get get uh, get some friends that you playtest with like on a daily basis and continue to practice and like watch streams, watch people play. Okay. Uh, like watch the streams yeah. from the big competitions, watch people play, and uh, like have like check the format mm. and like read read on uh, on everything. Be familiar with all the cards exactly. You the need decks. to you need to see everything and get all the information all the time. Okay. <laughs> on a daily basis, I check every th single thing, like uh, who topped where, who played what, oh, okay. what techs they have in their decks, and I check all the so top cards matches. You're doing like research, really. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Because I think I learned so much just from watching the North American mm. nets. I yeah. I learned like everything. We have a very excellent stream, like high exactly. quality. Exactly, it was so good. You saw like a whole new approach on every deck. Like, oh, can it do that like that? Yeah. That play I've never seen it before, and that's really good. So you learn by watching, mm -hmm. and then you learn by playing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, thank you very much also for those insights, especially. Yeah, thank and um, you. good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you. Let's see if we are uh, going to see Eddie again, if he's going to make day two or maybe <laughs> even the top 64 for the European Championship in Dublin.